Hi, in last video we have seen how we can add the forget password functionality. In this video we are going to see how we can add the change password functionality to the Django project. And one very important point, most of people getting confused between the forget password and the change password. Let me tell you the key difference between the forget password and change password is the forget password you can do without login and change password you can do up only after the login. So let me show you how we can achieve the change password functionality in the Django project. First let me log in with my user ID which is Durgesh. and password oct at the rate 2023 let me show you the password c oct at the rate 2023 then click on login c i am able to log in and if i want to see the record i am also able to see the record and i want to perform the other activity for example if i want to delete this id file then click on delete. See, record deleted successfully. Let me click on change password. Here I need to provide the old password. So as I shown you, it's a OCT at the rate 2023. Let me show you, see, OCT at the rate 2023. Then here I need to enter the new password. What I want, for example, I want TEC at the rate 2023. Let me show you the password. C at the rate 2023. The same password I need to confirm here also. Then again, BEC at the rate 2023. Then click on submit. Your password has been changed successfully. And after that, I redirect it to the back home page. So let me log out. Login again, login again, P U R G E S H. Then I need to enter the my new password. First, let me log in with my old password only, which is O C T at the rate 2023. O C T at the rate 2023. Then click on login. See, I'm not able to log in because we have changed the password. So let me log in with the valid user ID and password. One second. Yes. Then my new password is TEC at Let me show you. See. Then click on login. The same thing we are going to see how we can achieve this change password functionality in the Django. So let's start. Go to the Visual Studio code. Then inside the URLs.py file. First, we need to define the URL for our change page, change password page. Simply copy this one or let me copy this one. Then paste here. Then here you can give any URL pattern. In my case, I'm giving change, change, change password. Then here we need to specify the views name. So whatever views you are going to create the same name you have to mention here once again let me copy this one then here we can give the name of the url see so that here we need to specify the views name so let's consider my the views i'm going to be create it will be the change change underscore underscore password change underscore password that's it control s and simply copy this one and go to the views.py file here we need to create one views let me add one comment change password yep change password then default parameter request Yeah. Then return. 
tender and the fault parameter request after that here we need to specify the page name html page name where we want to redirect so in my case simply copy this one here dot html plus c we have created one view we have created one view which is change underscore password then here we have here we have redirected to the then here i have rendered to change underscore password dot html page so we have to create this page simply copy this one then go to the templates then right click then new file simply paste here on h1 tag second let me extend this one copy this line copy this two line now paste here then take one h1 tag then type here my change password and come here then copy this one because we need to end block also not this one yeah. stvo exit let me show you again first we have created one url see this one after that in the views.py file we have created one views which is change underscore password after that we have created one html page which is change underscore password this one that's it go to the browser and refresh let me log in my user do this my password is but to zero to be one second yeah default login see you have login successfully but here we have to add the option for the change change password so go to the visual studio code then inside the new bar yeah after the add record i want change password option simply copy this line then paste here and in place of as in code I won't change password then go to the urls.py file and copy the url name then again come back to the neobot in place of add record paste this one that's it go to the browser refresh this one see change password option is showing then click on change password see change password this text we have written inside the change password dot html page let me show you see this it's working fine the next step to we have to create the form to take the user's old password new password and confirm password but this is a very common activity so whatever are the basic requirement for any website that kind of requirement already fulfilled by the django only so to change the password django already provide the inbuilt form we have to import that view. so let me show you how we can do go to the visual studio code then inside the views.py file yeah we're going to use that to import that one so let me import one second let me show you go up yeah see we have to import this password change form this one which is coming from the forms 
so we have to import this line after that copy this one then come down then we have to create the object of this go and this take the user for which you want to change the password for that type user dot user equals to request user that's it control s after that simply copy this one then come here then pass in dictionary form one second yeah control s then simply copy this key then go to the uh, password change change password dot html page and here we need to render that one so for that we need to create one form so one second this is very similar to my requirement so let me copy this one copy this one then come here then paste here and in place of forget password simply add change password and here fm why here fm because if you see inside the views.py file we have given the variable fm so just because of that only i have taken fm yeah fm then control s then go to the browser and refresh this page see we have not created this fields manually if you have seen clearly if you have seen what I have did simply inside the views.py file I have written this line and after that I have rendered this line into the this page which is change underscore password dot html we have not written any code for these fields which is old password new password and these validations and this confirm password these all are coming from the password change form which is given by the django only but entering the data here it will not work so to make work this one go to the visual studio code then here one second if oh no need to write again and again simply copy from previous one simply copy this one see yeah paste here i will explain you one second if request dot method equals to equals to post if you see the html page here we have defined post and inside the and simply copy this one is here and add one more variable data because i want to store the data also for that request copy this one request dot post here add else second yeah and if palette for that simply copy this one copy this entire it will copy this three line which is i'm copying from here then simply in place of form simply type and here also fm and example here i want to display a message like your password has been changed successfully for that you can type your password has been changed 
inch successfully like or whatever you want to display and after that i want to redirect to the my home page so because of that only i have taken return the method is the post then if we first create this object along with this form data form data is nothing but whatever user going to be end up here so it will store all this data and if it is a valid then it will save and display this message like your password has been changed successfully and after that it will redirect to the home page but there is a one drawback once you change the password it should redirect to the home page but it will redirect to the login page again and your session get expired this is a by default or you can see inbuilt feature of the password change form but i don't want such functionality for example i want after i change the password it should be not log out it should be redirect to the home page for that we need to do one thing go upside and here we need to import one library which is update underscore session underscore auth underscore hash so see this line so we have to import this one simply copy this one then come down and paste here here we need to specify the for which user you want to keep this session so first it will take the default parameter which is request and we need to specify the user so fm dot user that's it then control s then go to the browser yeah refresh this one click on login sorry log out then yeah first let me enter my username which is durgesh then password number at the rate 2023 c dec at the rate 2023 click on login you have login successfully now i want to change my password so click on change password after that here i need to specify my old password which is dec at the rate 2023 let me show you my old password c dec at the rate 2023 then here I need to specify my new password. So my new password, for example, Jan at the rate two zero two four. At the rate two zero two four. Then same I need to confirm here also. Jan at the rate two zero two three. Sorry, two four. Click on submit. After that, it's showing your password has been changed successfully and we have redirected to the home page. So why we have redirected to the home page? Because here we have mentioned like that redirect to the home page and the message, whatever we have written here, the same message we got there. And why we by default, it after changing the password, it will log out. But here we have added update session because of that, because of that only. We have not log out. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel. Bye.